Hey everybody, welcome to part 4 of God of War Chains of Olympus. Last episode, we made it here to God knows where. And the Grand Hall? Great Hall? Something like that? Is it this way we need to go? I don't even know where the heck I'm going. I got lost when I came in here. Oh, this is definitely somewhere we haven't been yet. Also, there's a lot of goodies here, and I keep forgetting that we have to press circle and not R2. R2 allows us to not do anything in this game. I don't think R2... Yeah, R2 literally does nothing. Wow, I haven't even got my health upgrade yet. Stop with the Gorgon eyes. Yeah, I know the magic is great and all, but still, come on. Oh, they're literally just locks. Okay. Oh, a boss fight on the elevator? Or, not boss fight, I meant enemy fight. There we go. Just burn them all down to hell. Here, grab them. Wreck them a new one. So this game, actually, I honestly do find plays smoother than the first game. But the first game has a better story. This is literally about Morpheus, you know? Wow. Oh, I wanted to kill him with the whole, you know, cool grab. This is a very slow-moving elevator. But I guess we finished the fight, now we just wait to get down there. Ooh. Wow, there's a lot of red orbs all of a sudden. Can I, can I please get off? Guys, there's no more enemies. Armor. To break armor, use square square triangle combo. What the frick is that thing? Dude, you are very mean to me. Thank you very much. There we go. What kind of action command do we have on you? Oh, I can't. I can't honestly see that. <laughs> I have to move my. Uh, Screw it. I'll just do it. Leave it there. Sorry if you guys could hear me move the mic. I'm just uh, trying to get it to work better. And you know what? Wait for the magic. I don't really need any health. And then we'll grab some more orbs, because apparently they're big on giving us orbs here. We need, what, 4,500 or something like that? Maybe? I don't know. We only have one ability, right? There's a lot in the game still. I don't know, every game he has new abilities. I think God of War had the coolest abilities though. This is literally like the exact same area, just going in reverse order. Oh, what's this? Oh, looks like we need something glowing. I believe that's the shield that we need. And, oh, there's red orbs over there. This looks like something we can break. Oh, you just, uh circle on it. That's not what I was actually expecting. Eh, I'm cool with it. Yeah, man, that statue has nipples over there. Weird-ass statue. No, 85 and 10,000. Yeah, we got one, two, three, four abilities. There's less. As I believe there's like seven or eight abilities in the first game. There's still a lot of abilities that we don't have. Hey, look, a destroyable statue. I would like some health, though, like a health upgrade. A health upgrade would be delicious. But what is this? Are you not going to tell me what it is? Well, thanks. I was hoping to get some information on exactly what the hell I was doing. But what is this? I am grateful you have come, Ghost of Sparta. The Titan Atlas has been freed from the pits of Tartarus, and has taken my brother Helios from his rightful place in the sky. What does Atlas want with the Sun God? Helios holds within him the power of the Sun. A power so great it can destroy the world. It cannot be trusted in the hands of a Titan. Please, take the Sun Shield from his throne. Walk through the gates of Olympus, and you will find me. Hurry, Kratos. Even now, my brother suffers at the hand of Atlas. Okay, so I, I randomly jumped down, but let's see who this is. 
Seek Eos in the caves of Olympus and she will help you find her brother Helios. Oh, Eos is her brother. Or her, her brother. Is this... Okay, he automatically does it himself. Oh, yeah, I'm cool with that. You have to go to the throne room and steal the shield. But if that's the way we have to go. Oh, there's literally nothing. Wait, no, never mind. So for some reason, he can move. Didn't want to roll for me, dude. Man, please be a Gorgonite. Yes, finally, our first health upgrade. In the man, in the first game, the health upgrades were way more common than the magic upgrades. But we managed to get everything. Apparently, I just didn't have random achievements. Maybe some of them didn't work or something? I don't know. Okay, there's nothing that way. Eh. Let's go in here. I have a feeling it's not going to be so easy to get it, though. It normally isn't. Oh, we're going to be sealed in again. Hmm. I don't like us to leave. I want to read this book. Only the Sun Shield of Helios can open his temple doors. That seems kind of self-explanatory. Oh, I have to break the throne. You can't just grab it otherwise, can you, Kratos? You have to break everything. Can I, can I have it? You have acquired the Sun Shield. Oh, I knew there was going to be an enemy fight. To parry, tap L1 immediately before an enemy connects. Oh, we have now have a shield to block. This ability is a lot more common in future games, though. God damn it. I forgot that it was a specific button they had to push. You're dead. I don't like the whole jumping in the air thing in this game. It's not as good as it was in the other games. Three enemies was all it took. Okay. But what are up here? Secrets, I assume? Like, I assume the way that, you know, we're supposed to go is the way where we have the shield, right? Oh, wait a minute. I believe we came in... Never mind. This is secrets. Excellent. I love me some good secrets, including another Gorgonize, so now you're going to start giving me Gorgonize up the wazoo. But actually, how do you... How much does it to upgrade the Sun Shield? Only 1500. Helios Flash and Helios Offensive. And it's just parry. <laughs> it's already maxed out. Like, seriously, that's it. That's a joke, right? Thank you, statue, for your orbs. And you can't go down there that way. I'm pretty sure if we go straight back here, there's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing. So this was literally just for secrets. This is like throw you off guard, eh, you know? Oh, hey, statue. Oh, I see you there, you little thing of red orbs. Beautiful. 8,000. Where we almost have enough for the, the blade upgrade. Go put this in here. Open sesame. But okay, this is uh, interesting. Just save point and some health. Dude, we haven't really done much. Okay, I guess we'll. Hey, what's up here? Nothing. In game wall. Ah, it's not gonna give me enough to upgrade. That's pooey. Anyways, can you? Can you? Okay, thank you. I don't know why he was grabbing, but yeah, we were in the grand hallway. And now... <laughs> Zoop. Ah. Now, I believe our mission is to actually get all the steeds. I believe that's what our actual main goal of this entire game is. Well, at least... For the temple, I don't know if... I think the temple takes the entirety of the game to be. like Kind of like Pandora's temple. The majority of the game was there. Like you spent hours there compared to like outside and things like that. So hopefully we don't have to spend forever. Here as well. As Kratos oh. stepped out into the eternal night, 
Much had changed outside the temple. Morpheus grew ever stronger as his harbingers and darkness continued their relentless march. Ray, the goddamn god of dreams is becoming more evil. Though I do like these arrows more. Damn, it's the cat guy. The only issue I have with the F rate in this game is its attack range is terrible. Stop the. I hate that cat's fire breath. There we go. Hey, I did that game. Thank you very much. Stupid. You gotta be really fast with that, apparently. Hey, dude. How you doing? Great, there's another one. Apparently you can't block the flames. There we go. We'll just cut him down to size again. There we go, he's dead. Yeah, you squeal and yell like a puppy or a little kitten. I don't even know what you are. You sound like a dog. You clearly look like a cat. Get out of here, Morpheus, is goons. Is that it? Is it all you could muster? Oh, wait. Shield activate. Ah, created another secret staircase. Can I just jump down? Do I actually have to go... I actually have to go down the entirety of the staircase? Are you fucking kidding me? Can I just take shortcuts? I like to run all this way, man. Another sun shield door. Stop with the. It's a little excessive, don't you think? Too many doors for my liking. Yeah, great. Looks like a puzzle room. I hate puzzle rooms. And that door doesn't look like we can get back out of. Go for configure. Oh, hey, look, some orbs in here at least, though. I'm always happy to get some orbs. Why don't I try and get 10,000 to upgrade the Efreet to max? I'm assuming it'll be max. Oh, nothing here? Ooh. Poo on you, man. This doesn't look like it's much of a challenge to just plug these guys into the door. Kratos' shadow is really glitchy. I just do the same with this one. Doesn't really seem like much of a challenge, does it? Apparently you can't kick these. You cannot kick them. Man, everything just levels all about the sun. As much as I like the sun, it's kind of annoying. There we go, open up the door. Or it doesn't even open up the door, it allows me to open up the door. That's a lazy game. If you do all that work, and it's like, oh wait, you can open up the door. I don't want to open up the door. What if this is kind of like... I see this. I see the secretiness. Secrets. And we just gotta pull them back. And then they light up that. I see what this game is doing. It's literally just like the first game with the uh, the whole underwater puzzle. Now we have to leave. Can we leave? Oh no, I can't leave! Wait. Can I? Wait, maybe they're not supposed to do that completely. Oh wait, it just wasn't all the way back for some reason. Now I believe we can actually activate the shield here. Oh, you hold down circle? Oh wait, tap circle. I couldn't see it, because my mic is in the way. There we go. Now the sun is just completely gone. I don't know how the sun to begin with. Oh, it's for one of the horses! 
See, I thought we needed the horses. Oh, wait. There's a chest over here. You know what? I kind of hope you're orbs. I really do. Nope, you're a phoenix feather. Like, we only have one magic attack, and it's not even that good. That's the sad part. Why are there so many flies in here? I still remember this from the origin from playing this originally. Activate. Boom. That's it? Yeah, that's it. So beautiful. There we go, we got the one of three horses activated. <sighs> Stupid flies. Oh hey look, we're opening up a staircase. So it sounds like we have to go to the pits of Tartarus, and what's in here? Just secrets? Maybe not secrets, just like a reward. Reward. Yummy. <laughs> there, now we can upgrade the Efreet, hopefully to max. God, I'm so glad the upgrading in this game is so much faster. Increased damage, Demon Rage. Yeah, literally, that just leaves our swords. We only need 7,500 to upgrade it to max. Woohoo! So you can take the shortcut there. We're not gonna take the shortcut anywhere else. Hell. Like, wait, did I even fight anything since I got health? I don't think I did. Wait, no, I did. Never mind, I have damage. God, we fought those cat guys. Cat guys. Do -do 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 -do. The cat guys. No secrets. There's a loading screen there for a brief second. Now, what's going on in this room? You must hurry, Kratos. Oh, you randomly opened up a portrait for me to hop through. That makes complete sense. Thank you. What's this? Another Gorgonite. Just give me all this stuff without any challenges. I don't mind just doing the puzzles, especially if they're this easy, because I just know what the hell I'm doing. But can I like can't go behind there. Oh, let's go in. Zoom. Where are we? Yeah, Kratos is just like, yo, I'm a badass. I'm a motherfucking badass. So we just randomly come to Olympus due to a portal. Portal from nowhere. Oh wait, is this how we get the ability to swim and breathe underwater? Anyways, in the next episode, we will continue our